Hey, everybody. By the way, I'm sorry, before we get into this, everybody, welcome back. You know, every time you push record here, it tells me it's being recorded. Like, you don't have to tell me when you're recording. Gotcha. Cool. Just so you know. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Hey Man. My name is Jacob Wolf. Well, I'm Josh. You really took the lead on that one, huh? Yeah, just I, I figured I'm going to get, for those of you who could see us, I'm going to get made fun of the way I look. So I might as well just take the reins real quick. Um, Here's the deal, everybody. So we are still just technologically challenged until May. We're having a new podcast studio built. And so uh, yeah. until May, it's just going to look and sound like this. Um, we appreciate you guys sticking with us. Look, here's the deal. Look, it's may not look and sound at the top of the game right now, but who else shows you the giant dick pics that we showed you? Oh, yeah. You know, I just put the camera to full screen. It does look like you're from on the moon. Like you're, yeah, it's, no, it's, it's bad. Like it's like, it's, it's your, like I'm in a whole different universe. Is your lens foggy? Nope. Already tried that. It's just your camera? It's see here's the thing. It's the same camera I've had every time we've done it like this. And it's never it's never done this. Do you is it the same webcam that I have? I don't know the answer to that question. I don't think so. Didn't we buy by the way? This this is the new one. This is the new one. That's the new one? This is the new one. Huh. So maybe, in all honesty, it might be because my fucking computer is so old that maybe it's just not, it doesn't have the qualifications to shoot in 4K or anything that doesn't look like I'm from 1970. Yeah, you really do. It does look like. This is like a video somebody would shoot with a prisoner. Yeah, it's like a, it's like one of the Ted Bundy interviews. Yeah, it's it's like you're it's like you're being held captive somewhere, and, and they're this, holding a sign up for for what I have to read. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Now let me ask you a question about these glasses that I'm wearing: serial killer or fashionable? Yeah, I brought up Bundy. Hopefully, you get the Dama reference to your glasses. But yeah, they're you know. Eh. Why would why would I get a Dahmer reference if you brought up Bundy? Serial killer. It's called the similarity. You think that by saying Ted Bundy, I should then infer that my glasses look like Jeffrey Dahmer's glasses? In my defense, the next question you asked was about your glasses and if they looked like made you look like a serial killer. So was I wrong? Well, I was it wasn't like the next thing that I said. Yes, I, it was. It very much was the very was next thing you said. Exact next thing I said. Exact next thing you said. We'll put it. So it's between ten thirty and eleven. So let me go check. Why don't you go ahead and write that down? L- listen now. Let me check. I can't decide. And by the way, I think Bundy wore glasses like this too. Yeah, but Dahmer's more known for, more known for it. Bundy, if you look at the interviews and all that stuff when he's in court, doesn't have glasses on. He did have glasses, but he didn't wear glasses a lot publicly. This feels very serial killer, but also not. And I'm wearing my yeah. best day brewing hat. Dude, I have really cool honestly hat. gotten heavily into that. It's a non-alcoholic beer, everybody. I don't drink anymore. Oh, oh right, right. And one of the reasons that I haven't that I don't drink non-alcoholic beers because most of it tastes like water. Dog water. Yeah. This Best Day Brewing is like legit. So I've been enjoying it. I, and I've been I've been cracking one. Cracking cracking a cold one? Yeah, dude. You honestly, you're, you look – I feel like I'm doing a podcast with someone from the past. That's what I'm saying. Like it feels like this is an AI-generated clip where it's just an AI from 1947 – Sitting here in a modern day world, trying to have a conversation with you. Do you have like a a filter on? For the last and final time, and I will say this very clearly. This is what it looks like 
No settings. 1080p. That's it. Do you want to see 720p? Do you want to see what it looks like even lower? I don't know what that means, so no. Resolution. Like, I'll look even closer. No, no, no. I don't want to see your 720p. Um, Okay. I don't know what that did. Um, I was just just seeing what it looked like. Did you just fart? No, that was a car driving by because our windows are not double paned. And so, by the way, also, that's why we're moving. So, another reason why we're moving. So. Do you want to tell everybody where you're moving? Um, yeah. So my girlfriend and I just got approved for a house in Vegas. Uh, we will be moving at the end of April. Um, first house, not buying it, but still first house that I will be living in by myself. Woo! It is a dope ass house. I've seen it is a brand new house. Brand new. Nobody's ever lived in it before. We're obviously we're not going to talk money, but just so everybody knows, brand new house, bigger. Less expensive than the place he's living in in LA. Yeah, I'm I'm affording a three bedroom apartment with my girlfriend here in LA, and we will be paying less in Vegas for a three bedroom house. Just put that into perspective. Brand new with yard. Brand, brand new, no yard, yeah. unfortunately. Hey, no dude, yard is, no no yard is the only thing, only thing for me. There's no backyard. It just goes straight into a garage that's on the back side of the house, which is kind oh. of a bummer. But we have a little side area where Milo can go. It's more protected, also. So. Plenty of room for activities. That kitchen has more than enough room for activities. Dude, your mom and I just watched a documentary when we were in Santa Barbara this week. And it was called Buried. And it was about the first. So you know what repressed memories are? Yeah, memories that your brain represses because you don't want to think about them. Trauma, right? This was the first court case that ever allowed repressed memories and convicted. No new evidence. They convicted this dude. This it was a fascinating. That's really interesting. How, is that is that legal? I mean, I mean, I guess yeah, sure. Although, to your point, it, the case got overturned. Yeah, because the Which new judge says, "Yeah, you know, the new judge was like, what." What's happening? No new evidence. Well, we're just gonna pull. That's like oh, that's like oh, saying okay. a psychic. Are oh, you saying other people? Not no new evidence. No evidence. Just oh. the memory. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It was really interesting. It was really it was a really interesting documentary. But I, I think I'm getting into the kind of crime. Oh, just text them on. She'll send you. She listens to a. a crime podcast called crime junkies with yeah. a woman named ashley flowers she, first of all great voice for a podcast great voice for radio she, they, her and this girl brit do a podcast called crime junkies and it is so good they're so good at it like just to listen to uh listen to them explain it and talk about it like it's 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 a really fun listen and an hour just flies by what did you do for your so, I wish you could have seen that. That was crazy. What? It was crazy that you dropped a pen? No, dude. I cut the pen. I was just flicking the... Okay. This was banana. You Let me tell you. Did you flip the cap off? I was flicking this bottom part, right? Flick, 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 flick. I flicked the top off. It bounced on the desk, bounced back up onto the pen. Doing doink. And then I flipped you're, it again. You're gonna have to run back this recording. Just doink. No, 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 no. I am understanding what you're saying. You're gonna yeah. have to run back the recording to see if we caught it. We didn't. You can't see anything. But you know what this recording might catch? Ah. That. And unfortunate. You're the ah. only one that's the, you're ah. the only one who can sit in the room with that. So that's about and it. That. You got one? No, I thought you had one more coming. Oh, you thought I was going to go for the four pack? Yeah. I think he stopped on three because he pushed a little too hard on that one. I didn't push on these. These were easy come, easy goes. That's what you think. <laughs> so, ooh. So, um, 
What did you do for your birthday? Uh, the seventeenth was Jacob's birthday, and this was yeah. the first weekend we hadn't been on the road for a while. What did you do? Uh, me, uh, my girlfriend and mom, my our dog, and uh, my one of my best friends, McKay. We went to Joshua Tree for the weekend. We drove up there on my birthday, sat in some crazy traffic, um, got there, hung out at the uh, at the Airbnb, went to the park the next day. Um, you know, just just hung out under the stars and. They had a small little pool table at the BNB and one of those like small like little basketball games. So that was Any sick. Drogas? Any mushrooms? Uh no drogas. Well, I mean, we smoked a lot of weed and, and drank, but that was about it. Oh, okay. Uh, uh Joshua Tree without drogas. How come? I well, first of all, actually, you'd be surprised at how many times I've done Joshua Tree without drogas. Mm-hmm. Actually, most times. There, there actually hasn't been a time where I've gone to Joshua Tree and successfully done mushrooms. What do you mean successfully? Well, the first time I tried to do them, I was 18. Remember that summer trip I took with a bunch of friends? Yeah. Um, and we got that camp spot. Yeah. Uh, which are now f- fucking impossible to get because you How can't come? get. Bro, our special gym is gone. Everybody in LA now knows about Joshua Tree that you can go see stars three hours away from LA. Yeah. So it's not like Zion. Zion literally puts their camp spots up six months in advance and they're sold out in 10 minutes. No oh, shit. Joshua Tree is not like that yet. However, it is very hard to get camp spots anywhere now in the world because during COVID, everybody decided they were outdoors people, right? Not and me. So, exactly. But so a lot of people were like, oh, I love hiking. I love going outside. And I'm like, it's a newfound discovery for them because they just hadn't done it until COVID. And so you know everybody is everybody's there. So it's hard to get. You know my theory on camping, right? Theory or like how you feel about it? Theory, really, I think. What is here's, your theory that you, here's the thing? Here's what I know about you and camping. My okay. dad it loves the outdoors, will love to go out in nature. He loves to look at stars, watch a sunset, sit by the fire, all that stuff. But when it comes time for bed, he wants to sleep in, inside in a bed. Nailed like, it. Not, like, like an RV will work, but he's not sleeping in the tent. He wow. wants a bed inside with walls because of animals. It, animals, the ground, one mosquito in a tent can fuck up your entire one. One mosquito. Plus, I smoke too much weed not to have snacks in my tent. That is a no no. You don't have snacks in the tent. You can have snacks in Joshua Tree in your tent. Yeah, whatever. No, but I'm not, I don't want the ground. I always feel something crawling on me. And you know what's more comfortable than the ground? A bed. A bed. And Which is, by the way, there. By the way, you know what's better than shitting outside? Shitting inside. You know what's better than no shower? A shower. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, sure. I don't understand why when it's – I'll stay up with you as long – dude, a long time ago, people slept outside. And you know what they were like? They were like, you know what's better? We need someplace not outside. What about we change, we find someplace and call it inside? And inside will be good for sleepy time. We could be outside when we do whatever else the fuck we do. But like, I just don't. He, a mosquito in a tent is like, but dude, you camped and slept outside, and it was like minus six thousand degrees. It was like zero degrees, but yeah, yeah I slept outside in zero degrees. Okay. By the way, your mom's way tougher than me too. Your mom. Neither she, of you could do that. Neither of you could do what I do. I don't know about the cold. Neither one of us like the cold. But your mom would totally sleep in a tent before. Oh, I no, no, no. I'm not saying – mom and I have slept in a tent before. That's the thing. Like when I was when I first went camping with her when I was a kid, like she – her, me, her, and Jace slept in a tent. But not in the cold that I slept in. Yeah, dude, that's not – that doesn't sound fun. I had two sleeping bags, two pairs of socks on, a pair of tights under a pair of sweatpants, along with two pairs of underwear, a short sleeve shirt, a long sleeve shirt, a hoodie, and a beanie. You know what I had inside? Yeah. In fucking side. Not gonna lie, I was pretty warm, if I remember correctly. I was like, yeah, but isn't, warm. isn't that now you're getting to a point where it's so cold that you can't, you're not supposed to sweat? Oh, I wasn't sweating. Like that's what I'm saying. Is like I had put on the perfect amount of clothing to where I sat there and I woke up and my uh my ex at the time was like, I am freezing. And I was like, I need to open the tent. It's pretty warm. Dude, do you know what there aren't inside? Bears, wolves, raccoons. Raccoons can unzip. Did you see cocaine bear? Raccoons can unzip tents. 
Is it, they have opposable thumbs. Yeah, that's not yes. good. That, thank you, Steve Irwin. Yeah. Oi, crikey. I don't think Steve Irwin ever dealt with raccoons, though. I think he was it's more. It's an animal. Would you rather I say Crocodile Dundee? That would have made less sense. Do you? That's true. Do you remember meeting Steve Irwin? No. And I'm so bummed about it. Yeah, that was pretty great. There's photos. There's a photo somewhere. Mom has a photo somewhere. Just say uh, yes for my piece of no, no. Just say yes for my peace of mind. I don't want to hear you say no. There's not a photo because I'll be upset. It might be. I, I, how about I say this? I know a picture was taken. I also know that I was in charge of that, and I'm not super hopeful. Yeah, but also, had the photo been taken, mom would have found it and put it somewhere. So that's what I'm saying. If there's a photo, mom knows where it is. Can I tell you what's so different about our childhoods besides everything? And we're about, by the way, guys, last week we talked about who had better movies growing up, and we went ages 10 to 18. And I think we're going to do more of this, but we're going to be more specific ages. Like, I'm going to say, we're going to decide at 16 who had, like, Whatever. We'll figure it out as we go. But what was I talking about? We grew up differently, and I said if there's a photo, mom knows where it is, and you had like a light bulb go off above your head. I don't fucking know. Can I tell you the difference? And your mom and I have talked about this many times. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Your mom and I have talked about this. Bless you. You know what one of the huge differences (laughs) – <laughs> one, of, one of the huge differences, you got like anybody around my age, and I would say probably 40 and up, maybe your parents took a picture of you a week, but not really. Special occasions, your birthday, a baseball game, family, family gatherings, pictures. Holidays. You guys are so well chronicled. Everybody who grew up in your jets. What, can I tell you the truth? You have a picture. You have a, like a picture from every month of every year since. Of you? Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. When you were growing up. All That's three of you. All three of you for whenever you were in the house. Like Trevor and Kate were not living with us as much. But we took multiple pictures. At, at daily, probably. Like, yeah. we ate hey bath. When you were growing up, your mom took pictures, family occasions, right? <laughs> Birthday parties. But, like, you would go six months and nobody would take a fucking picture of you. And you were like, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, Sounds I awesome. Like five childhood photos. Yeah, your mom said she has, like, a five childhood photos. Yeah. My girlfriend, I'm on too. I think she has like, yeah, she has like four or five. It's crazy. All right. So listen, last week we were talking about who had better movies growing up. And I have to tell you, dude, my movies are so much better. And so my 10 to 18, because I looked at yours. Did you have fun? No, but I can also name like six in the 80s that you could put up there. Okay, but here's what I'll say for sure was better about my 10 to 18. We had a much more varied range of movies. I would say your best movies all kind of land in the superhero Lord of the Ringsy. Oh my god, you're so far off. You are you could not be more far off. Really? That Look, I will don't worry. I will agree. There are some superhero movies on here that have to go in because for me, like there's one of them in here that top three superhero movies of all time. Like on. One, not, two, not three, a question. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, no, no. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Shit. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I check 11 because I couldn't even get down to 10. Dude, I couldn't pick to my top 10. I just listed movies by year, and I'm just going to pick which ones, and I get to 10, and that's what we're going to do. But okay. Like, and we, can also, we can also talk about movies. Let's start with movies that are we left off. Okay. All right. I can do that. And, and, um, so, and so 
you you want to go first? Give me a list of like five movies you left off. See, here's the thing also about mine. I have a lot of animation, which is going to be so different than you because I have I have one animated film and it didn't I, make. It. I have so many good I have so many good animated so movies. Can I, can I tell you the one animated that I had that I left off? Yeah. And it's only half animated. It was Roger Rabbit. Oh, dude, you want to hear something crazy? We were literally watching that two hours ago. Yeah, Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Which to, yeah, at the no, time, no, dude, no, I've never seen it. Oh, dude, at the time, the combination of animation and live action was never I, done before. I think that was the first time it was ever done. So it I was agree. like fucking crazy. Yeah. And then to have all these teenagers with hard ons for Jessica Rabbit was like crazy because she was a cartoon. I don't think it was oh, just teenagers. I was one of the teenagers. So let's I, talk about the years. Years. What years are you talking about? So I'm going, I got 2007 and 2015. Um, I have 1979 to 1987. Yeah, that's – oh, oh, okay. So you missed the last two years of the 80s, which is which is like – I call it like the last Back to the Future, right? And there was a couple other Back ones. Back to the Future is in, my, is in mine. Which one, though? I'm curious. One, and, one I think, and two. But I, oh, you, I, have, you have two Back to the Futures in that? Yeah, but Back to the Future 2 isn't, isn't in there. Isn't in the top 10. Hey, by the way, my top 10. So give me some movies that you left out. Well, yeah, I mean, give me some movies that you left out that were hard for you to leave out. This one is hard. 2008, the very first Iron Man I left Ooh. out. It's a great, great superhero movie. But there yeah. might only be one superhero movie on this list for me to hit all of my corners. Um, and I, yeah, for me, no, that's another thing. Did you only pick from one genre? Like I could have picked fifteen comedies. No, 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 no. I, no, I have so many. There's comedies. There's thrillers. There's animated. That's there's what I'm saying. Action. I'm saying, did you try to pick like not six superheroes? Did you try to pick one and move on I, to a different genre? I literally, I, we were driving. <laughs> we were driving to Disneyland today. And it was 6.30 in the morning, and she was my girlfriend was asleep in the front seat. And I go, hey, will you wake up and do me a favor? And she was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah. I go, will you look up movies from 2007 to 2015 to me, please, and just read them off? And she just started reading them off for me, and I just started picking the ones that I really enjoyed out of those bunch. And that's how I got to where I was. By the way, you love Disneyland. I do now. I, I will tell you, this is one – we're similar in a lot of ways. But we are – so different. Like I'm the only one in our family. Your mom loves Disney. But whenever they used to tell me it's the happiest place on earth, I'm like, have you been? Well, have you know, you can, fucking been? See, I had the same thing. And then I found a girl who made it fun. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. we, there's the, the fast pass system now is like, we will get on like today. We got there at eight 15, like right as the park opened. We went on seven rides by 11 a.m. and left. It was awesome. Really? Yeah. It was great. But, so, but also here's the thing. is like with we have the passes. So every time – we go once a week. So every time we go, sometimes we don't go down any rides. And we walk around for two hours, have some food, and then leave. Like for us, it's not all about getting on the rides or buying a bunch of shit. It's just going to the park because it's where – it's one of the happiest places on earth for her especially. So okay. it, it – it's just a whole bunch of fun now. Um, and we get to take friends. We're going with uh, my buddy Rich and his uh, his partner Raul next week. Uh, we're having Kenny's daughter Zay come stay with us, and we're going to Disneyland. Rich, by the way, he's such a good dude. Rich is an outstanding, Solid. An outstanding gentleman. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, yeah, we're going with Zay and McKay in April right before we leave. So it's, it's just turned into – I always saw it as a burden, and then I looked at how happy it made my partner, and it made it fun for me. Let's let's get to the movies. That's awesome, by the way. Yeah. Let's get to the movies. But I have one more question. Yes. Does mustache help or hurt the serial killer vibe? And hit in hurt. Hurt. hurt hurt. No serial hurt. killer with a mustache. Dahmer had a mustache. Oh, so it helps the serial killer vibe. Oh oh, I thought you meant hurt as in like it looks more like a serial killer and it's hurting your appearance. Yeah. 
then you, if that's the definition of hurt, then yes. Or helping as in it's helping you still look more like a serial killer and hurting your appearance, then yes. So both? I don't know. Can I tell you something, dude? I am growing. And every now and then I'll still put some color in my beard, especially right. when I'm like if I'm on stage. But I'm getting so much more comfortable with the gray – Beard, right? You, you can't you can't hide it forever because I, I think, think you're also just starting to come to terms with it. Maybe I think I'm more secure with myself, so I think it doesn't bother me as much. Absolutely. But I want to be honest with you. When the mustache goes gray, I might feel different because this just, little, it gives you still that little bit of longevity look on your face. Yeah, once you go, yeah. Once you go full gray, because then once you color it in and you look at yourself, you're gonna look at yourself and go, "That just doesn't look right." Like, yeah, you can only yeah. lie to yourself for so long. You know what I'm saying? You know what it's like. I love seeing like really old dudes who are still dying their hair black, and they're like, "My hair is 40." I'm like, "Your face is 85, bro." What do you mean? It doesn't matter how how your hair Get your losses. Yeah, dude, why do you have a dark jet black toupee, brother? You're 87 years old. Yeah. You're not I fooling love, anybody. I do love it though, man. My, my favorite I, guys are the guys who put the toupee on, but they don't style it in any way. So it just looks like a massive cat or a dog is just sitting on your head. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, and you could walk by it and just go. <sighs> by the way, no shade on the toupee. No, no, 100%. But, you know, make me at least think it's not a toupee for a second. Don't just place it there. Can I tell you? I'm just writing this down. Can I? I say 26. To, um, to 29. Yeah. Are you dyslexic? No, it says 27. Where are you looking? What are you looking at? Did are you, you say looking 20? at the time? Yeah. You said it said... 27? Yeah. When you a, said 27, it was at 40 for me. 40 minutes? 40 seconds. It says 34. It's about to hit 35 minutes right now. No, dude. It's been 27 minutes. On the live recording. 20. We're at 2740. Okay. I just want you to know that I'm not crazy and I'm just, I'm filming this as I speak and looking at your face, look at his face. Send, send and that, says, that says 35 minutes and 30 seconds okay. as I finish this clip. Okay, ready? Oop, hold on. That, that wasn't good. Okay. So you hear me talking to you, right? Yep. I am at 28, 06, 07, 08. All right. There you go. You want me to send this to you? Sure. Yeah, by the way, nice originality, just copying exactly what I did. How else did you want me to do it, bro? Not my way. What? What? How else did you want me to get a video camera out? Or I would actually like you to come out and be like, hey, no! And just did a little nice... <laughs> what accent you said? You said what? Hello! Like, hey, no! Welcome to the ring! You know, like the... the what's his name? The Bruce Buffer? Michael and Bruce Buffer, the Buffer Brothers. Buffer huh. Brothers. What do, you, what do you know? Where my computer is eight minutes in the future. Dude, I'm telling you, how bananas was that? I'm still at eight minutes in the future. That's the thing. I don't even well, know how I'm to go backwards. Oh, wait. Wait. Okay. So now I'm also looking up. And my computer time is like my physical time, like 7.50 or right now it is 7.46. On my computer, it says 7.53, which is seven to eight minutes in front. Yeah, but that, that – I don't know. That, you're, you're telling me that's just a coincidence? That wouldn't make us turn it on at the same time in your clock? Like your, I don't know. Clock. All I'm saying is that's just a weird coincidence that they're the same amount of time off. What time is your running clock right now? I'm at thirty-seven fifteen when I said that, and my clock says seven fifty-four p.m. That is eight minutes in the future of you. Well, one's eight and one's seven, so there you go. Now you're off. 
Dude, it's just you are in a time space. What's it called? Canadium. I'm just Canadium? gonna let you roll. Just gonna let time you roll with that space. one. Conscratium. What's the conscrotum? What did you say? Oh, they they do it in Back to the Future. They say it's a time space conscratium. Oh, a I know space. what it is. What? Consider it. Say. I, I, I like watching you guess. All right, get, I'll take five more guesses, and then you have to tell me what it is. Okay. 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 Time space considium. No, nope, that's it. Time that's space. Time space meridian. Nope. Nope, that's two. Time, time space. Can stumble them, something like that. Not gonna lie, as many wrong ones as you said, I've almost forgot what it actually is because now I just hear a bunch of different continuum. Time space continuum. continuum. There you go. I, I you stumbled go. on to Kumblumbluum, and but now I nailed it. I nailed it. Time space continuum. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of which, let's get to these movies. Okay. All right. So, how do you want to do it? You want to do your ten? I think we go one for one. No, really. Yeah, because then also, just so you guys know, because I'm also thinking about clips in advance, when we go to round them off and I go one by one, or we go one by one, we're sitting here and then your 10 line up as you pick them and my 10 line up as I pick them. Okay, but I don't have like a – this is not ranked one through 10. It's just 10. This is not ranked one through 10. I'm simply oh. going by year also. Can I? Oh, I'm not. I'm not. I didn't go by year. I, I'm, go, I'm going in order from like the year because like I started in 2007 and ended in 2015, so I'm going in like a chronological order. Can I tell you how I I had to go like some – okay, I had to pick – I didn't want to pick like 10 comics. So I, I tried to pick a little bit from different genres. But can I tell you how difficult this was? Can I tell you some of the things that I left off? Dude, there – was some intense leave offs. Can I tell you something I left off? Sure. Ghostbusters. Ooh. Star Wars 5 and 6. Yeah. Hold on. And now you know how much this means to me. Fletch. Ugh, whatever. The Jerk. Arthur. Lethal Weapon. I had to leave off either. Trading Places, 48 Hours, or Beverly Hills Cop. I know one of those. I, I thought I did because I couldn't do all of them. I had to leave off the Three Amigos. I had to leave off Monty Python, Meaning of Life, <sighs> and Life of Brian. I had to leave off Airplane, Caddyshack, and Spaceballs, and no, Vacation, no, 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 no. and Stand By Me. Sp Spanned By Me? And Stand By Me. Dude, I had to leave off a Rocky. I had to leave off Karate Kid, Hoosiers, Richard Pryor, Live from the Sunset Strip, Flashdance. Is, is that Fast a movie? Time. That was a movie. Fast Times at Ridgemont High, 16 Candles, Risky Business. I had to Wait, leave off. You, you, you left off 16 Candles and Fast Time? Yeah. Disappointing. Dude. Yeah, dude. I will say, like, I think, I think you Tell may be right, but I. Read me some. I left off Mad Max Fury Road, which is a crazy movie. Um, uh, Winter Soldier, Captain America. I left off. That's like top three for me as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, Secret Life of Walter Mitty, Wolf of Wall Street, uh, Were the Millers. Um, I left off some good ones. Dude, Wolf of Wall Street is a fantastic movie. Yeah. All right. Listen. I think my first movie is. I also want to say, I think there's more nostalgia and the idea of classics in my book right. because we're old. So I want everybody to put that kind of bias aside. And True. my list is movies that I enjoyed. Right. Me, and here, same here. It'd be different. So this is what Jacob's, this is what Jacob enjoys. So there's Correct. no right or wrongs, except my list is pretty good. That was that yeah, was based like, on the ones you left off, and some I know that are in there. You you've got some good ones, dude. I know uh, I know the Breakfast Club is in there, so that's all that matters. Of um, course, yeah. Okay, just your first movie. It's again, this is not a specific rank of one to ten. Yep, it is just the top ten. 
Okay, but my first one, because it's the first one written down, Footloose. Ooh, good one. That is a really good movie. Now, here's why I went with Footloose over some other teeny movies. One, yo, that soundtrack was fucking bananas. Pretty good. Bananas. But Kevin Bacon was so cool. So cool. That whole movie. And yeah. it really has held up. Like, they, you know what I mean? Like, people, yeah, that's 100%. what people get. Yeah. But for me, dude, Footloose was huge. It's the only movie that made me want to learn how to dance. And, and that lasted for about 27 the, seconds. It lasted for about the entirety of the movie. And you came out of it. That was about it. No, 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 no. I left there thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna learn how to dance, and then I would dance in my room in the mirror. I and would go, look at yourself and probably go. You watch yourself dance and probably go, maybe not. No, dude. Well, at first I thought it was pretty great. I thought I was really getting it, and then one of my brothers walked in and he was like. What are you doing? I was like, I'm learning how to dance. I want to be like Kevin Bacon and Footloose. And he was like, that's not what that was. Like he basically told me, bad idea. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, right, hit me with your first. Uh, my first movie, and this was the very first year that we could I could think of, 2007, super bad. Oh, fucking so good. Can I ask you, would your list be different if you didn't go year by year and you just picked your top 10? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, because there are some movies in recent, like like uh, later years, because I stopped at 2015. There were some pretty good movies in those next 2016, 2017, 2018. Yeah, but those don't count. What I'm saying is if you hadn't had to go year by year to pick your 10 and you just picked all your 10, they could all come from one year. Would your list be different? No, I don't. Th- I don't think so. I think it's going to be a toss up for some of them. Like there's, there are some days I would pick this movie over another, but it's all about kind of what I'm I'm feeling right now. And tell me about Maria was that movie, but super bad, bro. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Super bad is just like, it was one of those first movies watching when I got into high school. Going, it's like a, it's like a quintessential one of those, just everything could go wrong in a night in high school, and it's totally relatable for so many different people um, about trying to get alcohol and trying to, you know, trying to get the girl that's way out of your league and getting way too drunk and fighting with friends and making memories and running from cops. And yes, I did all of that in high school. Um, But, you know, I think anybody who remembers, don't, don't, don't ruin me. Don't, don't ruin this. Uh, But I feel like everybody can relate to something or other in that movie in, in any way. Especially just like, and I think my favorite part about that movie is just Jonah Hill and how obsessed he is with drawing dicks. God damn it. That is, and it's unfortunately relatable for all dudes because all dudes at that age and younger just drew dicks. Well, I can't say everything. I didn't. So, yeah, okay. I mean, I drew a dick or two, but I didn't draw yeah, that's a no, it's not on everything, but I, you know, I'm I'm also you know guilty of drawing a dick or two on things, but it wasn't like my signature. But for Jonah Hill, it was like he drew every kind of penis. Yeah, but you're hundred percent right. Everybody, we've all drawn drawn a dick or two. Yeah, but it's just a super relatable, like quintessential, just fucked up high school movie, and I love it. Um, I love that dude. That's a by the way, a phenomenal description. And if I and being objective, I don't know which one I pick for loose or super bad. Oh, like it's just all depends because you know, footloose can also be relatable in that same, like in that, in a different way of just like, you know, you get raised on something you're told not to do, but it's, you know, something that makes you happy. So you chase it anyways. This, you know, like this is a tough choice for me, dude, because I'll tell you why I love footloose. But if you're asking me, from here on out to eternity, you're watching one. one. You're super one, bad. You only want to watch one over and over again. Super bad. I think I'm picking super bad. Yeah. Just because me as a person, I can watch the comedy over and over again. And I'm going to tell you right. something else. Jonah Hill ha- has such 
good comedic timing. It's I'm so envious. It's painful how funny Dude, he is. He is a fucking yikes. Yeah, let alone let's not let's not forget about yeah, let alone let's not forget about the the infamous McLovin. Okay. Like, come on, like that scene yeah, is I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think I would pick Super that, Bowl. That, I do like to start off like look, and I want everybody to know it may not get as be- as good as super bad for the rest of the list, but it was the first year that I looked up and boy, is that movie funny. Holy okay. Crap. So it's just second. Cause it's on the list this way. I just passed over karate kid and fast times and I can't believe you passed over karate kid too. Good God. And landed squarely on breakfast club. Yeah. There's, there's me, yeah. There's nothing to complain about. There. For me, it's a real toss-up between 16 Candles and Breakfast Club. In 16 Candles, although I think Breakfast Club holds up better. Yeah. 16 Candles hits so hard for me personally. Right. When I saw it the first time. And it just hit me harder. I don't know why. I think I do know why. I think – I've inside felt very Anthony Michael Hall in that movie. Right. So, you know, but dude, look, I mean, when's the, when's the last sex symbol that with like with red hair and freckles? Yo, you know, what's funny. I made a Molly Ringwald reference the other day. Actually, I think it was last night. Uh, we went and saw a scream, the final scream last night. Yeah. Which by the way, yo, might have been, might be Stop. Top, the best top, top three screams. Top three screams. Yo, it was top at, scream is first scream. Oh, top three screams. Top three screams. Okay. Uh, it was the original cast and like OG everyone you can't beat. But this one like was really good and it brings all of them together into one final, like, like legit one final thing. You think you can't go any further? Like this is legit the ending. But so was Nev Jim, Campbell there? Was who? Nev Campbell. What she's the one. Oh, she. she she's doing? the original young woman who gets chased by the murderer in the first three movies. No, I think she died in one of the earlier ones. No, that was Courtney Love. I think Courtney Love died. Did Nev die too? Courtney Cox? Courtney Cox. Courtney Love. No, died. Courtney Cox has not died. Oh, well, maybe Nev so- did die. Did Nev I, think Nev di- I think Nev died in like one of the newer remakes they made. Yo, I got a funny. But, I got a funny Nev Campbell story when you're done. Okay, but so we were looking at Jenna Ortega, and my girlfriend Iman was like, "Yo, she's in everything." I go, "Yo, she's really in a Molly Ringwald phase right now." Molly Ringwald in the '80s was in oh everything. She Good was boy. fucking so. Bad. Jenna Ortega is try- starting to hit her little Molly Ringwald phase, which is uh is fun to see. That's she's awesome. A- She's a surprising. She's not a really good actor, but she's she's pretty good. She sings. Does she sing? Jenna Ortega? Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Um, okay. So, yeah, breakfast. Oh, yeah. Yo, yeah. And like, I'm gonna tell you something else, dude. As a child actor, Anthony Michael Hall, his comedic timing as a kid. Yo, dude, his string of like Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, Weird Science, which I left off also. Yeah, it's a great Yo, movie too, dude. Yeah, he just had- fucking funny man. Yeah, well, he, he just had that great awkward, awkward kid comedic oh. timing that even like you would see in your like math class or something that wasn't supposed to be funny, and he wasn't trying to be. But good lord, was it funny? <sighs> he was so yeah. funny. Uh, I would, yeah, I, dude, I, I went to uh, school with, elementary school with, was his buddy in Weird Science, Alon Mitchell Smith. Oh, huh, no way. Yeah, yeah, Alon, I think he got, like, he went was going to school with us. One day he was in school with us. And then he was walking in New York City. This is, I think, how I remember the story. Somebody, they were trying to find Timothy Dalton's son for a movie. Or young Timothy Dalton, one of the other. Mm-hmm. And they saw him just walking down. They were like, you want to audition for this? I think. 
I think he got that. And the next, somebody saw him in that movie, and the next thing, he was in Weird Science. Good for him. Weird Science um, was a thing. By the way, and by, I hope this gets to Alana. Is that how it went, dude? I know you may Yeah, hello. Call us in and let us know. 855 274. No, we don't have a phone number. But, but um, I, <laughs> dude, Weird Science was so funny. God yeah. damn, that movie was funny. Okay. Um, my second movie, and this is just because I think it's my favorite Pixar movie, uh, it's hard to beat for me uh, Ratatouille. Really? Yes, sir. That's your Rat- favorite Pixar movie, not Disney, Pixar movie. But that movie for me is just, I don't know. There's, I love everything about it. There's not a bad thing about it. Who um, are the voices in that? Do you know? Who are the voices? I honestly don't know. But to me, it's just like that movie. Like the There's the different personalities they have in the kitchen. I love that we get the ghost of Chef Cousteau pretty much throughout the entire thing. And also, a rat can cook. I don't know. What do you know? That seems like fun. So... <laughs> Listen, dude. Well, yeah, I do love that. That movie is always great. Um, I'll watch it whenever. I'll play some. If we are again picking one to watch forever, I think I'm picking Breakfast Club over Ratatouille. Uh, yeah, Breakfast Club is my favorite movie of all time. So, oh, but also fun. Ratatouille does have that quintessential '80s start scene where like he's breaking through a glass and he goes, "This is me," and I bet you're wondering how I got here, which is great. Oh, that's good. That breakfast, and I'm going to watch Ratatouille because I've never seen it. That bre- You've never, hold on. Pause, 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 pause. You've never seen Ratatouille? How old were you when Ratatouille came out? 2007, so... 10. Thank you. Oh, that's right. We started from 10 to 18, so 10. Okay. Yeah, I don't know why I haven't seen that. Good movie. Oh. I really like that movie. Dude, but you love Breakfast Club so much. You should thank you thank your mom for that. Yeah, all the yeah. '80s movies I like ever because of mom. Okay, now this next one I had to pick between Rocky two and three, which is the same movie. Fuck you! <laughs> all the Rockies, just like all the Creeds, are the same exact. First of all, Rocky what? did not win the first Rocky, did he? Oh, whoop de doo, Basil! And then the second Rocky, he did win. Okay. Because you have to have to win. And he he lost since. The third Rocky was Mr. T, Mick dies, Rocky and Apollo have a secret fight at the end. Like, come on, man. So, but I, for me, if they all end the same way, I think Freddie Prince Jr. would not agree with me on this. I think he would pick Rocky three. And you're picking Rocky two. Rocky two. I just got to. I liked the feel when Rocky wasn't like – I liked not ripped and cut Rocky. I liked kind of rounder Rocky. Do you know what I mean? A little more underdog Rocky. Yeah, I like round Rocky. Round Rocky feels – Round Rocky more. is a crazy rap name. Dude. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Give it up. Put it to the stage. Round Rocky. Uh, dude, I'll tell you something. I like Round Rocky. Round Rocky feels way more Philly, you know? Yeah, I get that. I get that. I, I just why well, I like it. I like a Round Rocky, but, you know. Yeah. Um, My third movie. That's how I go to. My third movie. There's a bunch of good ones. Um, Honorable mention for Kung Fu Panda and Wally. In this one, but yeah, yeah, Kung, other yeah Kung Fu Panda is like for real sensation. Yeah, so honorable mention for those, but the only one coming out of 2008 will be John C. Riley and Will Ferrell and Step Brothers. Dude, <clears throat> listen, you and I quote that one, maybe you're burying me alive. Shh, you're gonna wake the neighbors. I, yeah, man. Ooh, this hey, fuck it, you, Jared. Why don't you lick my butthole? Tell me what you like about this. Everything about Step Brothers. Tell me which that? one of those dudes. I don't even know. It's one of those movies where, for sure, they're equally fun. Yeah, because they both have their their moments for sure. Like Will Fair. Uh, do you want to you want to go into the garage and do karate? 
and then just opens a opens a sword with a with a signature on it. No way. Yep, the one and only Randy Jackson. Dude. Or boats and hose, or where John C. Riley punches Derek in the face and then has a secret affair with his wife for like the rest of the movie. This is the scene where they're in the car singing Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Is Listen, dude, it's top notch. It's top notch comedy. Hard yeah. again, Rocky Two or Step Brothers, but I Step Brothers, not even a question. This is crazy, but I just I can watch Rocky over and over and over. I can't believe I want to say this, but because I think. The first time I saw Step Brothers, I bet you I enjoyed it more. Man, I don't know. Watching Rocky win was pretty great. That first time, get the fuck out of here. I'm picking Rocky too. All right. It's the wrong choice, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not – I'm just saying if I had to watch one, because now I'm not calling you anyone a better movie. What's easier for me to watch that I think I can watch? Okay. Okay, dude. I can't believe the movies that are coming up. But this next one – this is number f- number four. Yeah, Scarface. Ooh, classic. I we had never seen anything like that. Any dude like that? Yeah, Did, not enough said. I need yeah. to describe, but that was like, like something people we were like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. Like he was so. He, sometimes Pacino is this far over the top. Mm-hmm. Makes it kind of cartoonish. Yeah. But like, who am I to fucking, what am I? That movie's, that movie's so outstanding. Who am I to criticize Al Pacino at all? He's one of the best actors of all time. So let yeah. me take that Let me take that back by saying he was perfect in this fucking movie. That movie's great. Yeah, right? Yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. I, I have no problem with that. Um, the, this this next bunch is hard for me because I have to kick at least one. Um, so honorable mention for Zombieland with Michael Sarah, yeah, 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 Woody Harrelson. It's a great movie, but for this one, The Hangover, two thousand nine, oh, the, the very <laughs> first one. Uh, oh shit! The very first one. One of my favorite movies of all time. Dude, it was the first of its kind done this way. Like it was, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so good. The second one was, eh, the third one was awful, but the first one is unbeatable. You are, you are you wearing a purse? It's a satchel. Indiana Jones has one. Dude, is this? <laughs> and also, him counting Caesar, cards is did so. Caesar's, did Caesar live here? What? You know, like the real Caesar. Did, did, did Caesar here? Caesar, Caesar live here? Dude. Did Caesar live here? <laughs> we'll forever put that fucking movie at the top. Like, but if you're asking, is- excuse, you're asking me to pick between Scarface and The Hangover, it's The Hangover yeah. all day, every day, without yeah. even a doubt. Okay? I love that they're at the gas station and the old man, yeah. oh, nice car. Hey. Don't even, don't even, don't even look at this car. Don't even think yeah. about this car. I'm not afraid to hit an old man. He was so funny in such a different way than any way that dude. So funny, dude. dude the fucking taser scene. Yeah. Everything about that movie. That movie never stopped being funny, which is what I like about. There, your wasn't, com- a, there wasn't a minute of dead space. Like your comedy. I don't know why you need to be serious at the end. At all. That's why This Is The End is one of my favorite comedies. Oh, we watched that for my birthday. Dude, This Is The End. Is that in that time spirit period? Dude, it's one of my favorite movies. It, okay. It is. It is in this time period. All right. So let's, let's, we should move, we should start moving faster. That's me telling me don't talk as much. Yeah. All right. Number five. We're halfway through. Ferris Bueller. Uh, yeah. That's, that's yeah. Iman's favorite, but that's Iman's favorite movie ever. Ferris Bueller. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing to say about it. It is a quintessential '80s movie. It is very, very hard to beat, man. Yeah. Oh, God, I have to put this in there, and I'm another a one that I'm leaving out, which I should have said earlier. I'm leaving out the very first Avatar. Oh, okay. 
which again, but this one at number five for me is up. Oh, dude, that movie made me cry in the first three minutes. I think, like, honestly, your mom is like, your dad's crying already. It was like, wow. It was so good. It's so good. It, all your heartstrings, great ending, great all the way through. I love Kevin the Bird. Ah! Um, you know, I just say everything. something out loud that I don't think that I would have ever said in my life. But if I'm picking one of those to watch forever. Well, you have them on. Iman for sure takes Ferris Bueller's Day Off. As much as she loves Up, like Ferris oh, Bueller is just so necessary. Ah, but, but Up is. Because I know that beginning part is going to make me cry every time. Every single time. 100%. It's done so well. And it's held up so well. It's been just over 10 years, but that movie is priceless. I honestly can't pick. I honestly can't pick. I, oh, look, dude. I don't even. Ooh, you know how much I like up. Ooh, I don't know. I honestly can't pick. Because yeah, I, 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 well, I'll tell you what. My honest is, I want to say up, but I think I'd be ashamed at saying it. Yeah. I get that. Okay. It should say Ferris Bueller. Bueller. But yep. I, we're asking me which one, if I had to go never to see again, Ferris Bueller or Up? If I got to be honest, I've seen Up in more recently and multiple times before I've seen Ferris Bueller more recently. I think I Up, dude. So good. Damn it. I can't believe that hurt my feelings. Okay, this next one. Princess Bride. Oh, that's a good one. Not what I expected you to say, if I got to be honest. Dude, Princess Bride, I bet you, is one of the most quoted movies ever. Marriage. Are you kidding me? Marriage. Marriage. <laughs> Princess Bride. Yeah, Princess Bride. Yeah, I, I, definitely. Definitely up, hard to beat. Up really got me. I'm shook by that. Shook? Dude. It's a good one. Um, I want to go another honorable mention for Kick-Ass, Hot Tub Time Machine, and the other guys. Very honorable mention for the other guys because that's Will Ferrell and Mark, Marky Mark. I am going to say this. I am going to say that whether I end up picking 10, more, more of the 10 of your movies that I would watch forever than mine, I will say that the depth of my movies, I think, are better than yours. But I think – Do you know what I mean? I think I think yeah. the things that I left off the list, but I think you're – I forgot you – This I, I feel like my 10 might just be more entertaining. Like this is the end. No matter almost what you put up against it, I would probably pick this is the end. Right. I mean there's some boomers coming. Well, yeah, I, I'm going to have to really choose. Um. Another honorable mention for Rise of the Planet of the Apes, which was with that James Franco okay. as the lead. Yeah, I really good. liked that movie. Um, but no no doubt, might be the best superhero movie of all time at number six, The Dark Knight Rises. Okay. The this one with is... Heath Ledger. The one with Heath. Yeah. No, there shouldn't be a question about this. You shouldn't be yeah. making yeah, that sound. No, 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 because... I could watch Princess Bride over and and I have over and over, but I'm gonna say something else. Okay. I think I could watch Dark Knight with commercials. I don't think I could watch Princess Bride at this point with commercials. Dark Knight is just that movie. I, like that that trilogy Dark, Dark Knight over Dark just like, can I just tell you real quick? This is blowing my mind that I'm having so I'm agreeing so much with you because I'm trying to put nostalgia in what because my movies mean more to me than the movies that you're right. Yeah. So if I truly, oh, no, if, no, I no, truly no. if I truly had to choose, I'd probably choose mine just on nostalgia. And what they make me feel, how they make me feel, right? right? So I'm trying to put 
that aside. Right. And so this Dark Knight and Princess Bride is fucking blowing me away more than Ferris Bueller because me right now as a human, I could watch Dark Knight. Those superhero movies I can watch over and over. Mars Rachel. Yeah, dude. And that's the Heath Ledger one, which is so fucking good. Yeah, that for me, like that, as mm, arguably, but, could, arguably could go down as the greatest superhero movie ever. Oh, this is real. This is a real motherfucker for me, dude. I am letting my generation down. Well, again, you're just you're just forgetting. you're thinking you went nostalgic and thinking about what was made during your time as a kid, but you're right. also forgetting you're also forgetting the movies that we went out and saw as in theaters when I was a kid. Yeah. And, and, and you know what else is like? I know right now. Also, I'm I'm picking what I prefer right now, and I prefer <laughs> those super hero movies right now. Like I can watch them. You know, I watch them if there's nothing else new I want to watch. I'll just turn on like an Iron yeah. and I'll just yeah. watch. Audible mention also the first Avengers movie. 2012 will not be on my list. I'm going to have to go with Dark Knight. Yes, Princess Bride. But like again, Princess Bride holds such a nostalgic soft spot in my heart, but over and over for the rest of my life, probably Dark Knight. Oh, this is... I mean, if you watch Dark Knight over and over again for the rest of your life, you could just learn the fight choreography. The only thing you can do for Princess Bride is Learn the lines. Where's yeah. Rachel? I don't know if either one of those really sway me either way because I'm not doing either one of those. True. All right, ready for right. Next one? number seven. The next one I can't. I can't imagine you beating. It's it's a movie called Spinal Tap. Oh, okay. Yep. That's a yeah. Okay. That might be hard for me to beat, but my number seven is also pretty good. My number seven, also 2012. Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained. Yeah, I, it's not even close for me. The Spinal Tap is a great one, but this Django, that Django movie is, I think, my favorite Tarantino movie. Yeah, dude, it's a great movie, but like, yeah, Spinal Tap is like, there's just nothing like it. Yeah. For me. Okay. Yeah. Look, dude, this next, I had to pick between those three Eddie Murphy movies. Trading places yeah. for eight hours, Beverly Hills Cop. What yeah. what year was coming to America made? Uh, later than that. Okay. Because I was gonna say, I was like, you missed out. No, I, I can't. Like for me, these are three of my favorite movies ever. Beverly Hills Cop, yeah. one and two. Two. Some people would say two is better than one. Beverly Hills Cop is pretty good. I and I'm gonna speed this up, but I'm gonna go, I go 48 out. It's Eddie right. Murphy, dude, in his wheelhouse. I th- passing over so one passing over Arthur. Holy shit! I also have Passion a comedy. Dancing. I have a comedy also at eight. But shout out honorable mention to Seth MacFarlane and Ted will not be on the list. But oh, boysers! And this is the spot. And this is this was this is what I was. You kept hearing me groan about. I was trying to pick between these two, and it's such a hard choice. But I'm going 21 Jump Street instead. Oh, one of my absolute favorite comedies. Fuck you, science. Dude, dude, dude. What did I put pick? your put your tongue back in your mouth? Put your tongue back in your mouth. 48 hours and you threw me 21 Jump Street. God damn you. That oh, movie is oh, so good. Dude, the the making each other throw up. Is like you have the right to remain silent. Yeah, you're not gonna read him as rights. Yeah, you have the right to to suck this dick. Listen, dude, that movie so funny. Oh, yeah, I I knew I was gonna get you with that one. Oh, and also honorable mention to Project X, which was like one of the bigger movies of my generation, just because it it was just there. You Ted and Twenty One Jump Street and the campaign with Will Ferrell and Zach Galifianakis. How Dare you? Yeah. 
Holy shit. Pretty- I still... Ooh. I don't know. Now, this might be recency bias. Hi. I can't pick. That's okay. All right. Number eight. All no, right. no, I'm sorry. Number nine. No, number seven. No. No. Dark Knight was six for me. Uh, six, Twenty-one is eight, seven. Eight. Number nine, right? Yeah, I had to put eleven on here. Number What's nine. Up, number nine is ET. Oh, okay, classic. I'm not mad at that. Yeah, but also you said whatever you put up against this is the end is going to lose. So at number nine, this is the end. It doesn't beat ET. You're lying to yourself. Not. Dude, it, you, it might be the you one movie. Are lying to yourself. It might be the one movie that wouldn't be. Yo, that ending scene where they're getting pulled up and that blue light cuts off that, jo- or how Jonah Hill gets possessed by the demon. Nope, dude. E.T. made me feel something in the movies as a kid that I'll never forget. I'll never fucking forget that. Ever. Ever, ever. Whatever. Uh, My last one is a toss-up. And I don't know if this is the right word, if safe is the right word. Or... Yeah. Or... or, I don't know. Happy. But I left that theater feeling so good. That was one of the true experiences I had in a movie theater. I remember just as a kid, I that made me feel like I think I had never felt before, especially in a movie theater. Right. It's really amazing. So you're not going to, there's nothing, I can't think of a movie that would be like, yeah, yeah, I, got, I picked that over that feeling because I'll always remember that feeling. All right. What's yes. your final one? Well, First of all, I had to pick between Star Wars and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, see, you got Indiana Jones also. God damn it. And so, dude, I'm leaving out like Tootsie, leaving out Star Wars. Tootsie is one of my favorites. Leaving out Gremlins. What? Mm-hmm. Can't believe you're leaving out Gremlins. Dude. Are you kidding but it was Lampoon, but I, Lampoon. Lampoon is in that era too, right? The, what is? Lampoon? Vacation's in there. That Christmas vacation. All sexy girlfriend. Dude. Okay. It is so good. But so I, I had Raiders and Back to the Future. I couldn't leave them either one. Yeah, you haven't sent a Back to the Future yet. That's crazy. Back okay. First one. But for me, man, like... But Otto will mention Raiders of the Lost Ark at 11. Otto will mention Star Wars 5 and 6. Shit. They just didn't make... There's millions of people in the world that Star Wars is the fucking thing. Lord of the Rings is better. Okay. But for me, Raiders was better than... Anyway. I, I, I love that. Series, those movies yeah, so much. You, um, you yeah. My number 10... Um, this is just for me probably the most visually pleasing because I also started smoking weed around the time that this came out. The okay. most visually pleasing movie to ever watch on any some sort of drugs or sober because it's also oh, just a beautiful movie. Avatar? No, Interstellar. Oh, dude, what a great fucking movie! That movie, and you know, you, I you watched that movie. Over and over, dude. That is a great scheme. You, you know, you know who I saw this with? I saw this with John Wolf at the Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard in a massive IMAX surround sound theater, and it was like, it was bonkers. It was absolutely bonkers. Like, dude. But also honorable mention, which was eleven. It was a toss-up, but Interstellar is just the better one. Um, the first Guardians of the Galaxy and Gone Girl. 
Well, first Guardians was fucking dink dink. Bro, I'm not I, ready for this last one. I'm I cry every time I watch the trailer. I, I can't. Dude, I don't know, man. You, I want to tell you something. Your list, and again, a lot of these are because they're more they're recency bias, and but a lot of you're su- surprised me because, and maybe also they're newer to me, and that's why I would I would be more inclined to watch them over and over again. Right. But I still, I mean, for me, I would have to pick Raiders and Back to the Future. Just uh, I, I, honestly, oh. I'd probably pick Raiders over Interstellar too. So, but dude, I, like, I great, love Indiana Jones. You picked some great movies, dude. I had some good ones in there. Now, the next time we do this, we'll figure out a way. Albums. Albums. Oh, well, we'll pick a year. We'll we'll pick a year like when we were the sixteen years old. All right, next one. The next one we're gonna do, guys is uh, we're going to go to the year that we turned 16. So I guess just turn the school year. So like, so I turned 16 in 2012? No, sorry, 2013. I turned 16 in 2013. So in March. So I, if I were you, Dad, I would do like, no, yeah, I guess just 2013. Never mind. You want me to do 2013? No, no, no. But like, you know what I mean. Like, I'll pick the albums from 2013. You'll pick the albums from 1940, whenever you were 16, and then we'll we'll do top 10 from that year and just. Okay, but let's do that. that Let's not do that next week. I don't want that to be what this turns into. Okay. Well, next time we do it, we'll do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll do that. I can already tell you what I'm picking. When you were 16, you remember the album. I remember one of the. I remember, I remember a Drake album. I remember a Kendrick album. I remember a Kanye album. I remember. Oh, dude, that's that's about what I remember right now. I won't pick any of. We we won't exchange music at all. I'll think my all ten or mine are better. Yeah, that's just the old head in you. Not really. It's the smart head. It's the old head. You know, I don't know if I like that reference. Tough old, one, Pops. Pops is better than old head. Is that, what you, is that what they call older guys now, old heads? Yeah, they are called like like when we go to the gym and play pickup, there's always an old head there that thinks he knows what he's doing. Oh, dude, old head is an insulting. I call the old heads that I like OG. Think about what you're saying. Hey. Old head? Ugh. Like when I if I go to the gym and I see one of the – Old head. head. We also use it. I use it as a joke for like the dudes who are like thirty five or forty who come in to play with us that I've been, yeah. I've seen since I was eighteen. And I'm like, "What's this old head doing here?" But instead of like, if I like him, like I'll call him OG instead because OG is Dude, old more head. respectful than old head. To me, old head's funny, but it's a old head is like a tough. Oh, it's a it's a. Style. You wouldn't call somebody old face. You know what I mean? I call you old face. <laughs> what? I'm right, definitely this, now going to start calling you old face instead of hey, star face. Hey everybody. Um, listen, we're, um, we're wondering if that was interesting at all to you. How about we start there? Okay. We wouldn't, we wouldn't do it every, no. And we may figure out a way to do it faster. I won't, I took those edibles. So that probably slowed me down a little bit. Yeah. You also weren't some more surprised by the movie suggestions I had. So you had to really like contemplate, whether or not you were going to win this or not. Hey, what? I got to tell you, going into it, I did so looking at it like a competition, dude, because I was so sure you were going to be like, Iron Man 2, Iron Man 3, Avengers, Avengers 2, Age of Ultron. You know? And I was going to be like, no. Nah, By the way, that. Iron Man 3 is a sack of shit. Just okay. so you know. But you know what I'm saying. But you get yeah, no. Come on, I forgot there's some bangers, dude. There are some ridiculous movies that came out when I was. You know what I didn't see though on that list, which I was a little confused, or maybe I just didn't see it. Tropic Thunder, that's on that list, isn't it? Yeah, that should have been on your list. What year was Tropic Thunder made? I mean, I would think so, right? Right. Yeah, 2008. Yeah. I wonder why that wasn't on there. Well, listen, man. I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. <laughs> dude. 
Um, they could never make that. <laughs> could never make that movie. Could never make that movie right now. No way. Um, hey, listen. So, guys, we're curious about what you thought about that. Um, also, um, how was I doing about not, at not being high? Pretty good. No, I mean I'm your son, so I know when you're high oh, because okay. you just ramble. And also, when you tell you tell when I, if I say something that I know you like, whether it's a food, a movie, a TV show, or a band, every time you go, <sighs> and you did that about forty seven times. So, <laughs> you know. Okay, well, it's good to know but, that. But but other than that, you did well. So um, here's what would be great. By the way, I just noticed that light in front of me is kind of orange. Do I look orange? No, I thought your glasses had an orange tint, though, this entire time. No, I just noticed that. Um, so, uh, oh, subscribe. Not download. Was it? Download. Thank you guys, thank, thank you guys so much yeah. for checking us out and coming back. He a too, yeah, he's screaming into his mic now. No one can hear him. Um, thank you guys for coming out. Please like, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Uh, like the videos. Uh, go to iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcast. Uh, please uh, leave a review. Please leave a rate. It helps us so much. Everybody asks all the time, what can we do to help? Just leave a review and leave a rating, and it helps push us to the top of the charts. Uh, we are in – I don't think this is going to come out before we leave, but we are in Winnipeg, Canada this weekend. Uh, it's my first time in Canada, so I am very excited. Um, and comedianjoshwolf.com for tour dates. Uh, Josh Wolf Comedy on all platforms. Uh, Jake underscore Wolf on Instagram, and it's Jake Wolf on Twitter. Um you know, these road, this the going on the road with him has been so much fun, guys. It's been so much fun getting out and and meeting everybody and 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 just seeing how many people want to come out and see us have some fun. So, thank you again. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. All that other good shit. Can I say one last thing, guys? Um, so, like I said, we're moving into a new studio. Um, we understand that the audio and video is not at the speed right now. We appreciate you guys hanging in there with us. If this is something that you think other people will like, spread the word. Tell a friend. Yeah. Jacob and I are both looking for reasons to be home a little more and this podcast would do that. Yeah. 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 I, it'd be nice to, I love performing. I would still go out twice a week, but uh, twice a month. Twice a week. But it would be great to spend some more time at home. And I've yeah. only been doing this for two and a half months. So And I've been doing it for 20 years. So this podcast. Um, this PSA was brought to you by Josh and Jacob. Wolf. He's We're tired him. as fuck. So. <laughs> actually, I'm not tired. I I'm am. Just, I'm not tired. Maybe I, it's because like, I'm high too. I don't know. I love going out there. And oh, I it's love, so much fun. I love performing. I love it, but yeah, I would like to uh, spend time a little more, you know, some time with Beth. Yeah. Oh, yo, I can't wait to show you my walk-up song. That do, you new, do you have a new walk-up song? Oh, yeah. You will never guess the song. You know the song. It's just me and you this weekend. Correct. That's why I had to pick a walk-up song. Fuck yeah. Oh, that's awesome! I can't wait to hear it. Don't I, I don't tell me until it plays. Oh, I'm not telling you shit, dude. Did you see the temperature in Winnipeg? It's no. three. That's a temperature of three. What is it? It's three. Fucking three. I think that's Fahrenheit. I don't even know what three is Celsius. It seems way smaller. All right. Well, that, uh, I'm going to go cry a little bit and enjoy the warmer temperature yeah, that we're here. Fucking three. I looked well, I was going to check phone. it tonight. Dude, okay. I looked on my phone, all right? And I was like, let me, uh, let me just check to see what's going on, where we're going this weekend. Oh, right now it's 27. Today, low of seven. Dude, Thursday, when we're there, low of three, high of 28. Yeah, we're also getting we're also getting there after practically two days of snow. 
And it's going to be three. Three. So like we said, so like we said, everybody, we would love to stay some more weekends at home. So if you would like to help us do that, and not freeze our asses off. Got to be three. He's too high to comprehend what's going on right now. No, 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 no. Let me just. Do you have you ever walked around in three, bro? I've slept in zero. Yeah. I know how cold it is. I'm not excited. I I don't know if I have a jacket for three. You know what I mean? I might. I might. Three. I don't know if I have one for you, but if I have one for you, I'll bring it. I'll go. I'll go look for some stuff. If not, you should go buy one tomorrow. Well, listen. Regardless if it's three or not, you're gonna see my funky ass for Am six I? shows. We added a we added yes. a late show Thursday. Nice. Fuck yeah. So yeah, you guys sold it out. Three or not, you're gonna see me, my skinny ass. Shivering my way into that fucking club. Jesus. We're going to have a good time. I'm excited. Yeah, we're gonna, we, we always have your time. Um, and you also, have your time. okay. In, um, I would get those Last tickets. Last weekend of March. Last weekend of March. We're just doing the 31st and the 1st. Uh, but I would get those tickets now if you want to go. They're scrambling away real quick. They're- Austin likes to keep it weird, as we know. So Austin will be showing up. So get those tickets while they're still there. That's going to be fun. Yeah, and Thursday we'll see you in three. Yeah, I guess so. I, I don't – what time do, do I – I'll, I'll do text you. Three, do you have a three jacket? No, but I have lots of layers. We'll I, find out. I, I have that I have that, that thermo jacket that I, I can bring you again, the green one. I think I'm gonna need long johns for three. Oh, I'm wearing tights for sure. Tights are cold, right? Brother, tights are thermal. What are you talking about? Like the running tights, the Nike thermal tights. I don't know if I have thermal tights. I have like four pairs. Do you want one? Maybe. I okay. should probably um, get some. A couple of. I definitely need to get a scarf. I have two also. Do you want one? We're on the same plane from Minneapolis to Winnipeg. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, sick. I'll, I'll move to Minneapolis. All right, cool. I land at 5.30 a.m. I think me too around there. I will be going. I will be finding some food, going to the gate, and sleeping until we board, just so you know. Because it's only like an hour and change flight to Canada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but we do – wait. We'll talk about all this stuff. We've been rambling for too long. These people don't want to listen to us talk. Yeah, about I that was just, people, they're like they're like whoa. they could have this like what? Yeah. not on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Later, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>